So it looks like we're going to hop in. And... So we're hopping in, and, you know, we should be able to uh, spectate Jetlaw's cards very soon, because right now we cannot see them. Uh, Edelweiss on the bottom, Jetlaw on the top, Jetlaw on his Paladin. And this Murloc Paladin is, is scary, no matter yes. what kind of deck you're playing. It's very scary. Edelweiss has got some answers for this uh, early board. She's got the Doomsayer. And Jetlaw does not really have the... Uh, there's really only one answer to this, right? And it would be Rallying Blade. Right. And he doesn't have that. Rallying Blade rotated out, didn't it? Oh, it did, it did rotate out, did it not? Yeah, yeah, it's not even in the list anymore. Right. Um, so, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, so, the, the Doomsayer on two here is even better because you know there's no Rallying Blade. Absolutely. Uh, Jetlaw does have the Divine Favor, which he could pick up three cards with um, if he wants. I, yeah, he's going to go ahead and do that. I think Edelweiss is kind of happy to see that. Like, it's three, it's not nine. Right, <laughs> um, yeah. Because sometimes things get stuck in your hand. Um, Lich King, a nice pickup for later in the game. You know, because the big thing about the mage is, like, you stabilize, you stabilize, you stabilize, but then what do you do? Right. Um, dropping a nice 8-8 eight eight after stabilizing is pretty darn good. Absolutely. You also see in Edelweiss's hand, she has the Dragon Caller Alana. Uh, so she's definitely got some late game. She just has to get there. Yeah. What would Uther do? And I think the classes on screen are from last match still, so we don't exactly know what was banned yet, uh, but we will get that to you ASAP. So, so Edelweiss's Rogue was banned, and Jetlaw's Warlock was banned. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, the Warlock for Jetlaw... So so Edelweiss's Warlock was banned. No. Other way around. Her Rogue was banned, and Jetlaw's Warlock was banned. So Edelweiss's Warlock was banned. Okay, sorry. And Jetlaw's <laughs> we reverse that. Yeah, there we go. At, uh, Edelweiss not even bringing Rogue <laughs> to the tournament, so it would be very interesting if that got banned. That would be interesting. <laughs> don't know how that happened. The deck was so good, she didn't have to bring it. <laughs> Just don't start playing Rogue. I don't want to see it. We saw plenty of Rogue yesterday. Plenty of Rogue yesterday. I mean, Jetlaw here can go pretty wide, deal four to face. Um, Edelweiss saying, yeah, that's going to hurt, but I can, I can fix it. <laughs> Yes, she can. She's got that blizzard just waiting in her hand to clear up this board. And there is Frostlitz Jaina, which you're pretty much always happy to see. Mm -hmm. um, but Vine Cleaver coming down, no real great follow-up for Vine Cleaver, though. Like, none of these Terran plays, no. none of the dude buffs, any of that shenanigans. And Edelweiss not happy to see Vine Cleaver come down. Right. She does have... Uh, some options. And I mean, you get Alex picked up, you could heal back up too. Absolutely. I think Witchwood Grizzly is very good. Yeah, especially since Jetlaw has very few cards in his hand right mm -hmm. now. She can keep the health of the Witchwood Grizzly yep. uh, as close to 12 as possible. I think she's going to she's gonna play the second one uh, just to help a little bit. Um, right. Sunwalker's fine. Lord of the Arena's fine. I like Sunwalker. You don't want to play Dread Corsair. You don't run weapons. It's, that's true. No more Medivh. <laughs> no more Medivh, no Alan F in this deck. But no real innate way to do a lot for Jetlaw right here. Right. Probably not loving what he's seeing out of his hand. He would love to see like a Tarim here. Um just mm -hmm. to just to kinda like go wide and make her have answers. He he's not really forcing anything yet. Right. Because like she knows that he he she just saw him attack and now he's Four one ones on board. He might play him out and then have to Dragon's Fury. She might have to Dragon's Fury. Mm -hmm. I think you want to force something here, at least force an answer. Right. Um, I think Edelweiss can probably read that he doesn't have Terram in hand. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he would have. He'll, used he'll it. play it here. Right. So she's thinking Terram right now, and she's gonna kind of give a sigh of relief. I think when she doesn't see it come down. Right. And, and there, there it is. is that exact <laughs> There's the sigh of relief, relief that I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And she can just kind of heal up with this Dragon's Fury. Mm -hmm. Just relax. Gain some armor. She's just going to take her time. But she knows consider there's not all a of her options. Right? So she knows there's not a Tarim, so maybe she hand. doesn't even want to do it. She wants to play uh, the Witchwood. The Witchwood big grizzly guy with a bunch of health. She could do that. Um, I wouldn't want, if I were her, to leave this board up for long, though, mm -hmm. in case Tarim does come into the hand. Yep. For sure. I think this plays around a top deck Tarim. Mm -hmm. um, but it gets to the point where you're playing around s small percentages. Um, right. But this is just, there's no real good reason not to do this. It's a nice follow up. A little bit of overkill here. We get some, you know, he can only do so much for this board. And then you got to get to the point, you have to set up lethal right. on top of Jaina. Because if she's not going to die on board, she's not doing anything but playing Jaina next that's turn. Tr yeah, that's true. You need to set up to kill her on board. So we'll see if Jetlaw can do that. He you can, can go very wide and set up a blessing. He can go very wide. Ball. And he has Blessed Maul, which Blessed Maul... Give your minions plus one attack, plus right? One attack. Or is it, the, is it the taunt one? I think it's the plus one attack. Okay. It looks like the plus one attack one. Right. And that might just be enough, honestly. Reporting for duty. Now she does have. Oops. I, I see that. <laughs> she absolutely yeah, has an answer. That's probably just better, huh? Jetlaw not really happy to see that off the top. Right. Um, yeah. Now he needs to set up lethal again. again. It's the same scenario. He needs to do it again. He needs to go wide again, and he doesn't. Right. Just protector not exactly gonna be to able do to do that. Unfortunately. See the blessed right, mall come down. And is gonna see this this blessed mall and go, yeah, it's not gonna do it now. It was gonna do it before, but uh, now it's just kind of not. Right. I mean, Frostless Jaina comes out. You gotta think maybe this thing's closed out pretty soon. Right. I think it's interesting that Jetlaw took Eye for an Eye as well here. Um, we used to see that in the. Uh, Control Mage and Paladin matchup back when Ice Block was still in play, but now Ice Block has rotated into the Hall of Fame. Um, so I think that's an interesting pick. And now she just starts generating a bunch of value, or even Alistrazing if she wants to. Um, right. But I think at this point, you just kind of, <laughs> she, she, she could say, ah, that, that's secret. Gone. Not playing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind the Alexstrasza here. But you don't generate another water elemental, which right. is something I like doing. Um, yeah. So I think the Lich King is probably a, a better idea here. Mm -hmm. um, it still stops Jetlaw from really she getting wanna, anything done. She want to trade first. I think so. Or, you know, it's fine. Uh, this way. It's Death Grip. And there's the there's tarim. the tarim that Jetlaw was looking for earlier. Um, Still pretty useful. I mean, still still a pretty good tar card in this scenario. Uh, no real like immediate answers for for Edelweiss here. Um, at six, Witchwood Grizzly is huge though. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> it's a big minion, and I don't even know why we like pretend like she's not gonna have the answer. <laughs> she's just she gonna has get all the, the answer. answers. Because she's gonna this go back up. This is interesting with the Baron Geddon play. I mean, she's gonna she's gonna heal for a That's million. That's true. <laughs> really, she'll just heal for she'll heal for a lot. Maybe it would be what ten. Something like, like that. She'll be up to sixteen, seventeen, and then oh, it's a Baron Geddon 12. on board. She could ping here. She could ping one of the three th three threes and. Just mm -hmm. drop Baron again. Just taking your time, considering all of her options. Um, of course, the Witchwood Grizzly would get the most value that it possibly can get right now, since Jetlaw doesn't have any cards in his hand. There's also Sunwalker. I don't think that's the optimal play, though. Looks like she's going to go with the Baron Geddon here. I mean, I think this is fine. Uh, she definitely wants to ping one of these. Yeah. 
I mean, next turn she can ping ping it again, uh, ping another one and set up for a water elemental. Mm -hmm. So. That order of events is very interesting because she could have been to a point where that eye for an eye, I mean, maybe that two damage could have killed her, but now she's at right. 15, sort of stabilizing heat. I mean, does he want to trade this off? Does he want to just let her keep getting value off this Barangeddon? It's it's a tough call. Absolutely. I mean, you want to trade it off, but then you have no board. What are you doing for the rest of the game forever? What's your plan? Hmm. This is definitely a tough one. Jetlaw only has the Murloc War Leader. Can't really generate much more pressure than that. And every time he plays a 1 1, he's giving her the power to ping it off and create another water elemental. Yep. So now it's just more healing for Baron Gun at this mm -hmm. point. And I actually don't even think you make a water elemental. You kill more things if you don't. So That's you just. True. Alex Straza, maybe, maybe you don't even. Alex Straza, but you, you can. Um. Because this Witchwood Grizzly is still looking really good now that he has right. no cards in hand. Uh, Raven Familiar, nice pickup. Helps her find some board clears for even later on. But not too much you can do here. You just heal back up again. Another 14. You're back at 27. I like the Baron getting meta. Yeah. I'm glad to see I haven't back. seen it in a while. Yeah, Jet Law just going just gonna to concede. Edelweiss, really close plays there, but able to stabilize. Mm -hmm. Um a little a unlucky for to not pick up that Tarim until so late in the game, but both players really considering all their options and playing playing toward every out yep. for sure. So yep. I mean, very well played by both players. Um, Jet Law able to just keep forcing her to have answers, and Edelweiss just kind of you know a couple lucky having the not answers. lucky top decks, but just a couple you know flame strike off the top was right. nice. Um, you know. Baron Geddon at the was end pretty the nice. Yeah, uh, absolutely. She could have played the Witchwood Grizzly. We know that that would have actually gotten in the way, but mm -hmm. maybe how much damage would it have stopped? What do you do next? When when are you drawing a board clear? Right. Things like that. Um, but yeah, Edelweiss, Edelweiss takes uh, game, game one. one. Yep. 1 0 series right now. So her Warlock was banned. So her she Warlock was banned, and his Rogue was banned. Right. So Edelweiss still has the Priest and Warrior to go and Jet Law still has all three of his decks, Paladin, Shaman, and Mage. I want to see this warrior. I want to see the warrior too. I like seeing control warrior and I'm glad that it wasn't banned. I don't think we've seen a control warrior on stream yet. We have so not. We got close with the, the Royce match. That's right. Um, That's the right. Royce and Roshi match right, yesterday. But, but his warrior was banned. Mm -hmm. So sounds like they're loading loading up the screens now. Yeah. And we're going to get into it. And there's the warrior. There's my guy. Uh, so it's up. It's This is a warrior control mage matchup. And I think a lot of the times control mage can find a way to just outvalue with the water elementals. But it's right. tough. Um, it's a tough matchup. Uh, it needs to be played very well from both sides to really find a true victor. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you just find the warrior just not even playing anything. Right. Uh, just, to just tanking up. Just tanking up forever. Uh, but Darius Crowley, a nice way to get on board. Um, Absolutely. It, and that's definitely a, a stickier minion and one to prioritize getting rid of. Because um, it will just tear your face off, basically. Yeah, it, will, it will steamroll you eventually if you, if you don't mm -hmm. take care of it. Right. And so this is an odd warrior. So she does have the tank up uh, hero power. Gaining four armor instead of two armor, which adds up throughout the course of a game. Absolutely. Bringing back the old days when Warrior could go to 100 plus HP. Just tank up every turn. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, in this kind of mirror, I think she's going to she's gonna value tanking up very sure. highly. He's going to need to pressure the board somehow and, you know, make sure that that doesn't happen. And she, he might end up with too many cards in his hand because I don't think she's ever going to really feel inclined to play anything. Right. She, she definitely doesn't have to. Jet Law is, uh, the mage is definitely the aggressor in this matchup for sure. I mean, it's really dependent on when Jaina gets drawn. If Jaina's drawn on nine, that's just such a value generator for like the rest of the game. Right. And Edelweiss needs to do something to counteract that and make sure that there's not a million water elementals on board. Right. She does have some tools for that. We see the double silence with the owls in her hand already. There's Baron Geddon again. 
And I like I how she just click, 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 click. This. Yeah, but, but Shield Block is just, it's a tough card to even really want to play in this matchup because you don't know how many cards you're going to want to draw. Right. You, you don't want to run into fatigue. You want him to draw cards before you draw cards. And she's at the point where she could just tank up again. Mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't really, might not feel too inclined to play anything. Right. I mean, if Lich King comes down, you could, maybe she gets a Shield Block. She could face the Shield Block the Lich King soon. Seems pretty good. Sounds but, like you know, Ooze isn't getting any value later. Right. So it's worth noting that it might just be nice to do now. So Jetla has plenty of options. And he, de and he has to play something because he has 10 cards in hand. So. Yep. I, I like Arcane Keysmith here. It, mm -hmm. you know, establishes a secret. It's... It's a pretty easy card to play here. You just you throw it out, you get the secret, you ping something, uh, and you're not in touch a bit too bad of a spot. It's kind of it's nice to see here because it's like your one, like proactive, do something minion in the deck really. Right. Um, I think you take Mirror Entity, uh, just because you, most of our minions are large. Uh, you could find mm -hmm. yourself with an owl, which is uh, not great. Right. But you you didn't get counter spell, so you can't you can't get rid of like something like that. And I imagine that. We'll never know, I don't think. I don't think we'll ever know what he picks. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, there's her proactive mini, the Direhorn Hatchling, which right. you have to imagine might just come down here. It's it, it's so good in this matchup because it adds a card to your deck. Mm -hmm. And if you're Jet Law, you might just Polymorph it. And maybe if you're Edelweiss, you want to bait out the Polymorph before because it's so important to be able to put cards into your, your deck, deck in this matchup. Right. Because then if you have one in, you can draw cards a little bit. You can cycle if you want to. Or you just get ahead in fatigue and, you know, you're already up 12 health. Yeah, so th this game, because they are both control decks, will likely go to the end, uh, go toward both uh, players going into fatigue. So she really wants to be careful with how she handles her card economy. Um, like you said, the Direhorn Hatchling is a huge resource to her. Um, and Jet Law, I'm sure, knows that and will be more than happy uh, using that polymorph. However, putting the Baron Geddon out, uh, I could imagine Edelweiss foreseeing that same possibility. So she may be trying to bait out that polymorph I now. I like baiting out the polymorph here. Um, yeah. It's very nice. And then, you know. There's Dragon's Fury, and you know statistically you're gonna draw a card that's gonna be able to clear up this pretty well. But you you did force a clear, right? Uh, but you didn't force the polymorph, kind of like you, you might have hoped. Mm -hmm. And we saw that Jetlaw did not uh, pick the Mirror Entity. Decides to drop the Doomsday, setting up for the Lich King next turn. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if Edelweiss wants to, she can play the Direhorn now. Right. Um, you don't really care about board presence that much, so you might just want to play it and add cards to your deck. Mm -hmm. You can see her checking how many cards she has in the deck right now. She's I'm sure it's 19. something that's crossed her mind. If she doesn't do it, then she's probably decided that it's just not worth to do. Right. She values a 3-6 body more. Mm -hmm. um, but at this point, it's definitely a, a, valid, a valid play to consider. And you know, she's hovering it, and... Looks like she's going to go for it. We'll see. I really like it. I like it, too. I really like it. It's a very heads-up play. It's one of those next level plays that you need to see to mm -hmm. win this matchup. But Lich King on eight, you know? Lich King on eight is good. But, you know, we have Faceless and Iron Beak. That's true. But even better would be Shield Slam. Shield Slam would be great. But I think we're just going to see Faceless. Mm hmm. If you were feeling feisty, you could shield block into shield slam, but this is much safer. Uh, you get the town crier. Um, you're drawing a rush minion from your deck. Now you're at 18. He's at 18, so you are back even on fatigue. Obliterate, pretty nice card to get. Right. Uh, it's not it's not not one of the best. I think you wanted to maybe something. I don't even know exactly what you would want here. Um, what mm. would you want? Maybe the maybe frostmorn. Frostmorn would be very good to clear some boards uh, now. It's right. Jet Law's time to gain some armor. And that 8-8 is going to hit face. 
Now you're thinking maybe maybe a brawl turn, or maybe you just want to take eight again <laughs> with obliterate. Reckless Flurry, you could you could just hear a power Reckless Flurry. I like Reckless Flurry for after like water elementals start to come down. Right. It it does serve as a really nice board clear um for those higher health minions. But now she's drawing cards. King Mosh. Uh Whirlwind King Mosh is another board clear. That's true. Uh a lot of people are running it in the deck because you you're not running executes anymore. Mm -hmm. So you really want to, it's like an AOE execute, just cost nine. <laughs> right. Instead of two, which is a big difference. It will cost all ten, actually, with the Whirlwind. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically a ten cost. But now, Edelweiss, because of drawing there, is behind in Fatigue. And he chose the Spellbender, and that ended up being a pretty good choice. Absolutely. You can see Edelweiss tested that on purpose mm -hmm. just in case so she clears off the board with the flurry i mean this is a tough matchup for edelweiss but if you look at the rest of jet law's lineup it's aggro paladin and even shaman so right. this is the win that jet law really wants to pick up mm -hmm. uh he does not want to lose on this he doesn't want to be back against the wall have to reverse sweep here right and unfortunately, Jet Law's hand is all board clears, pretty much. Yep. Which Not Frostless Jaina. Yeah. Which is and a big problem. And he's going to have to start just dumping things from his hand, unfortunately, and not getting value off of them. Definitely not something you want to see as Jet Law. I mean, you could just play Baku here, right? Um there's yeah, no Jaina, so you could just do that, but you mm -hmm. also don't have to, right? You could just arm her up and eventually maybe get out of range. Right. Pyros is a nice pickup here. Uh, will draw out the second silence, I'd imagine. You do not right. want to allow him to get a bunch of value off his Pyros. I don't think that's really a good play. Right. Um, but you never know. See what Jet Law decides. He may decide to try to push more of these... Uh, high cost AOEs out of his hand because he knows they're not going to get really any value. Mm -hmm. um, and dumping them now would be more beneficial and keeping Pyros until Jaina shows up because uh, Pyros is an elemental. Yeah, I think you definitely want to see the, the, thing, the cards you have to save until Jaina shows up. Voodoo Doll. Right. Definitely, they're free pings. Uh, and sometimes they're, they're kill things in ping. Uh, <laughs> I think you see Pyros here. You, you could, like, yeah, I think you Dragon's for your own Pyros. Uh, that's pretty smart. Um, you get the Pyros back in hand. You play right. around the second silence. It's so, like some really next level plays coming out from both these players here. Um, eventually, she's he's not going to be able to kill his own Pyros, and Edelweiss will just be able to silence it. But right. at least you get the 6-6 six, six out, and maybe he doesn't play it again until Jaina is on board. Right, so Edelweiss dropping the Baku. Um... Going to force out most likely the second meteor, I would say. Especially oh. after the um, after the one two picked up the arcane artificer picked up. Right. He can gain six armor while he does it, which is uh, pretty spicy. Yeah, I would say so. Pretty spicy. Decides to go with the voodoo doll instead. I mean that's fine too because right. um, the artificer is really nice for after Jaina, uh, especially if you know maybe he's worried about. Just ever really needing that healing, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Every really needing that armor game again. Right. Um, also something to note, Edelweiss has teched in a big game hunter. So she may save that for let the 1010 Pyrus show up and then just kill it. That is possible as well. I mean, we already have seen the Lich King played. So big game hunter, I don't think has much else in Jet Law's deck to get value off of. Yeah. Um, the Pyros here, decent play. You could build a board, but I don't know if you ever really want to put things on board. I mean, they just right. die a lot of the time to, you know, they get silenced or something like that. And Gorhal for Edelweiss just cleans a lot of things up. Yeah. Uh, from now till forever, basically. That's true. And Jet Law just like, where is my Jaina? Where is my Jaina? Because they have to have like 11 cards left in deck at this point. We could be very Absolutely. close to the bottom 10. You can see a little smile on Edelweiss's face. I mean, if he wanted to. 
He could he kill can it. Coin, voodoo doll it, <laughs> ping his voodoo doll. Decides to. Coin ping face one two three face. four five six seven eight. eight no, yeah. Cards. So basically, he's like, she could overdraw me, and I don't want right. that to happen. Uh, but that's not gonna happen because, because we have the she's silence going here. To silence. <laughs> Dub double checking the deck list. This is an open deck list tournament. And Gorehal just cleans that up nicely. And now oh, there's a board. Someone has a board. Right. Congratulations. <laughs> there are Edelweiss. things on the you board. You have a board. Uh, is it big? No. Do we love <laughs> it all the same? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, we see Baron Geddon coming to the hand for Jet Law now. You don't want to see that yet, though. You want to no, save you that, that for the end of the game. You know, fatigue's starting to tick down. Mm -hmm. Get some healing out of that. But also, it doesn't get any healing if Edelweiss does not make a board. That's true. It also doesn't get any healing if you don't pick up Jaina. <laughs> yes. And at which point do you just see Tempo Darius Crowley? Pretty soon, I would imagine. She's got nine cards in hand, uh, so she's going to have to start dropping something. It's a pretty good gluttonous ooze. Yeah, yes it you is. You get a lot of armor from it. Um, I remember when Gluttonous Ooze was announced, it was like, oh, Gore House can get wrecked forever. You're going to need seven <laughs> armor. That's true. And that's exactly Battle what we're is fine see. with that. And I think now you definitely see Darius Crowley come out because right. you get the buffing, which is pretty nice. The Dire Heart Matriarch is nice here. Um, I think there's only one Hatchling in the deck, so it's just to add that one extra card in there and just be able to cycle a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where the fatigue's at. I think that Edelweiss is actually behind in fatigue. Right. But if she is able to get to the point where Jetlaw cannot make any more water elementals mm -hmm. and is forced to you know, heal up at some point, like he's, he's in trouble, right? right? She needs to just clear the board and get to the point where her hero power will outvalue taking one damage to the face. So Jetlaw picking up the that's a Vexing Crow, right? No, it's Raven Familiar. Raven Familiar. And I don't think you're they ever gonna play Raven line. Familiar in this matchup because it's drawing cards. Right. And I don't think you ever want to draw cards as the mage in this matchup. I Absolutely don't think not. they ever do anything. Reality. Artificer coming out, we're gonna see some some flame strike action. Both players gaining a bunch of armor. This is gonna be this is gonna be a tight one, not gonna lie. <laughs> It is kind of a resident sleeper, though. Oh, my goodness. So, that's right. Edelweiss also has Elise the Trailblazer in her deck to add... A another card. Another card. <laughs> that's why <laughs> she was able to uh, shield block there. Right. Because she knows that she'll be ahead in fatigue uh, because of the the Elise the Trailblazer. Right. Maybe she... Yeah, no, I like this because you're not getting any more value out of Mosh than this. Uh, you could clear a board with... You could clear a Jaina board, but Jaina's so late at this point that, like, what are you actually doing? There's six cards left in his deck. Right. Jaina's not doing all that much anymore. And there is Jaina, but... You're also staring think, down at King Mosh. Yeah, I think it might be a little late. Uh, and now it gets fun. Because, <laughs> I mean, you can shield slam that, and you polymorph the next one, and then... Where are you at? I mean, you can. There's a lot of there's a lot of things you can do. Mm -hmm. I mean, keep pushing nine to face is very nice. Um, right. He has a lot of ways to generate water elementals, but she has a lot of ways to kill all of them. That's true, and uh, what now? and w using that King Mosh, she's gonna uh, she's gonna put his armor a lot lower than hers pretty yep. soon. Yep. So that is true, and. The big thing is no Alex Straza. Right. Yeah, there's no Alex Straza in, in Jet Law's list. I, I like this play because it's still it gets the trade off, but you save a shield slam. Right. And like, because the nine damage to face isn't too big in this matchup. Like, you're just winning a fatigue, so you're not the nine damage to face doesn't do that much. And now he's already she's already gotten the value trades off of it. It's frozen. You're gonna kill it and just just to generate a water elemental. So you're gonna either polymorph a nine four, or, or voodoo doll. doll ping it. And there's better ways to you know generate these water. I like this play here. Mm -hmm. um, I think in this matchup, you know, Edelweiss is really on the back foot, but she can she can kind of get there. And this is also smart because you have no whirlwind, right? 
Right. So you've seen one whirlwind. Mind control tech not ever really going to do anything in this matchup. Might as well just drop it might now. Might as well just drop it now. And I think if you're dropping it, you might as well drop Elise as well. Because mm -hmm. um, he can't create two water elementals in a turn. He right. can't ping twice. So he's pinging the 9 one. So you might as well just establish as much of a board and just be able to ping off the next one with, with the shield slam. So I have to go with the Matriarch. I, I like this as well because it you could draw the Polymorph, but he definitely wants to ping off uh, King Mosh mm -hmm. on this turn. So it's forcing him to Polymorph and ping something else. Right. Which, that, that negates Polymorph ping. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of nice. Mm. See Jetla doing just that, pinging off King Mosh to create a water elemental. I mean, Hungry Etten, I guess. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> it's very big. Considering the other two are the worst cards in the entire game, basically, mm -hmm. uh, you gotta go Hungry Etten. I mean, no no disrespect to Shield Bearer. You're, you're, I mean, you're fine. Right. Silverback Patriarch, you are objectively worse than most cards. <laughs> So it's hungry at in most of the time here. Right. Maybe you just go wider and you say rotten apple bomb here, but then you open yourself up to a brawl, and I don't know if you want to do all that. And I think mainly you want to do this. Um, you have to worry about now. You open up yourself up to a meteor ping, and you can gain some stuff. Ornery direhorn, nice pick up here. Little stick here as well uh, with the adapt can mm -hmm. gain some health or a divine shield. Edelweiss uh, definitely wants to continue tanking up every single turn. Yeah, and I like this, but um, she does open herself up to the second meteor. Right, um, with placing, a ping. Placing my control tech in the middle between the two minions would actually negate this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm true. interested to see if she's going to see this. She sees everything sometimes. Yeah, she does. <laughs> I try to look smart, and, and then she just she looks, looks smarter. smarter. <laughs> I mean, it's really like some of these plays are so intelligent. You've seen so many, uh, but like obviously punished for this play. He uh, picks up Blizzard, so he can right. still get a ping off. Um, Meteor, Meteor would have been really good. Uh, Blizzard is almost as good. Um, still, I think you can, as long as you have taunts up, you can force him to m create more wall on muscles, and then eventually brawl or reckless fury which negates all your armor so you don't really want to do it right but you can and you'll eventually that four armor will just build up again and again and again it's not that hard to get back to 24 especially mm -hmm. when both players are just ping passing right um so jet law does go with the blizzard to pay and ping off the mc tech edelweiss picks up a rush minion here yeah, I think you just hero power pass, um, force another, force something else. Uh, he's not pinging anything this turn. Right. Uh, I don't see. I mean, you do you do have polymorph, so you could like force it, but that's suboptimal because also as voodoo doll. Yeah, he definitely options. could ping some things this turn and create some water elementals, but eventually they they might die. Uh, she wins a brawl at any point. Right. That's huge. She wins like she could probably create a 50-50 brawl next turn if she wants to. Mm -hmm. Um, it's nice that she drew the last uh. I th I'm pretty sure that's the last rush minion in the deck. Right. Hey, Direwolf. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> this is an aggro paladin. What are you doing? This is an even paladin. Go to your home. Anyway, um, this is almost better because it yeah. allows her to have even more chances to win a brawl. Absolutely. She could... She could drop so... She could really just completely push the board as well to, to favor herself in this brawl if she wanted to. I don't think we will see a brawl yet, though. Right. Uh, this is this 2-1 is definitely getting traded off Oh yeah. every time. I mean, second Seal Slam, I think, just gets saved for another Water Element, so I don't think we use it here yet. It right. could, um, because you could, trade you could Seal off Slam the Etten and then trade the 7-6 into the 3-4, uh, but then you're not trading off the 2-1, and she just get, he gets a, a Jet Law will get a free Water Elemental. Mm -hmm. You also have this play with the Rush minion. Uh, you can push seven to face this turn, which is 
fairly nice. I mean, the more you're cleaning up water elementals without, one, him getting healing value off of it, right. and two, her having to use her clears, is very nice. A six damage to face, chipping away at that armor. That armor is not coming back. No, not the for Jaina. The health not for is, <laughs> but the armor is not. And unfortunately, you can't go past 30 health unless it's armor. Yeah. So. I mean, I would consider that fortunately because the game would be a little busted. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Priest would be amazing. <laughs> Just keep healing your own face, going up in health. Didn't it used to be, like, when Hearthstone first came out, whenever you use Alex Straza, it, it also melted armor? I think so. That's That was nuts. Yeah. <laughs> So just the Whirlwind left in the deck for Edelweiss um, mm -hmm. in terms of spells. None left for Jet Law. Handful of spells. Uh, you know, Ornery Dinerhawk could come down here, and she could just bait out more Water Elementals. Right. Which I kind of like. I like baiting them out. Uh, I think she's going to wait until most of her hands is kind of empty. Uh, you definitely don't want Living Spores. Because <laughs> one ones are not what you want. When a minion has Stealth, it cannot, cannot taunt. taunt. <laughs> We're learning. <laughs> this, is, this is good. This is Hearthstone knowledge right here. Absolutely. And like the more things you play, the more Brawl doesn't bring you back a Water Elemental. All. all right. But you want to play things because you want to force a Brawl. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh it's a tough middle ground. And at some point you could Voodoo Doll. This Voodoo Doll and the Polymorph are nice. And she knows they're both there. So she knows exactly how many Water Elementals he can make. And, you know, right. up at 66 health now. It's tough. This is definitely the, the resident sleeper matchup, though. Um, <laughs> For sure. sure chat is loving it right now. <laughs> Someone at home is taking a nap and waking up at the end of this game. Being like, oh, it's only game three. After oh, this. We're still on the same game. I took an hour nap. <laughs> hey, look, the whirlwind. That was pretty good. Absolutely. <laughs> but, I mean, Jetlaw knew there was a pretty good odds of that happening, so I don't think you can be too upset. Right. Ornery Dinerhawk can come down again this turn if she wants it to. Um, I don't know if you do it yet. If you do it, you do it to the left, I think. But maybe this is better. I'm not sure. Now you can, can't be targeted by Hero Powers or Spells. That's very good. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that is a nice very one. Because now he has to play minions to kill that. and She's not going to let him do that. I don't think so. And Jaina getting the I'm almost out of cards warning first. And that's uh, that's pretty big in this matchup. Absolutely. Especially when your opponent has 61, soon to be 65 health. Yes. Um, and, you know, Water Elemental still not generating value for Jet Law yet. Uh, they heal, but heal what? You're full health. You're not healing anything. Right. She's using all the tools to create Water Elementals. And, wow, he just drew a card. Um, oh, boy. Wow. That brings him ahead in fatigue, and I think you were drawing that next turn anyway, right? Yes. And I yes, think you he kind of sees, like, ah, oh, man, I don't, I don't know if I needed to draw that. I, I would have drawn it anyway. Right. Um. Now, and that's Dragon Caller Alana. Dragon Caller Alana generates three five fives. And oh. wait, wait, wait. Soul of the Gorgon on Elise. Oh my God. Keeps adding cards, cards to, to your her deck. deck. So she just keeps going deeper and deeper and just is going to be like two or three ahead in fatigue before anything really matters. And she can really push face and get rid of this armor, I think. I don't think you trade just yet. Right. Um, you can because, you know, maybe uh, I didn't really look. Cause yeah, but you, you want to trade the 3-3 three, because three maybe it can get rid of the 1-4 the and create another water elemental. Right. Um, but I think that goes face. And I think maybe. And now Jet Law has finally hit fatigue. And I think um, you play that Witchwood Piper because you want to be able to like make her trade there. Right. You, you do something on the board there, and you, you're proactive. And you go one deeper in Fatigue, but on the flip side. He can still create uh, another Water Elemental here by using this trade and pinging off the Stone Hill. Got some options. Edelweiss is not invited to Jet Law's jungle. No. Um, that's what we've learned. <laughs> Phantom Militia is nice. It's a board of two fours eventually. Right. Um, 
We can see another Elise here to mitigate some fatigue and push seven face. So then, I mean, I like pushing seven face because that yeah. armor is not coming back anymore. Right. Um, and your trades aren't great. So you just push seven face and then eventually you have a board of water. He has a board of water and elementals and you can kind of clear them up. And you're ahead in fatigue, so even reckless flurry is too bad. Mm -hmm. I like this. I like using the diary, uh, dire, uh, ornery dire horn. There you go. Dyslexia is a thing. Dire ornery horn. <laughs> that one, um, because he can't actually ping that off, mm -hmm. which is pretty great. <laughs> Decides to trade off these water elementals. Is trying to get as much. Doesn't want to chance it on the brawl. Right. I think. right. Just really wants to make him use as many tools to create water elementals as possible until he's mm -hmm. out of tools and she is just controlling the game. I think at some point you can at least, I think you're okay with taking one fatigue uh, and then stopping it right. for a second. But maybe you just at least again. It's pretty good. She's just going to yep. decide to take decide the to one pass. fatigue. And we are ticking away on this uh, fatigue timer here. Yeah, Jet um, Law is on a clock. Tick tock. I mean, eventually you got to see Alana come out and right. force one of the brawls. You know, you got you have to force things in this matchup a little bit. At some point, like you're not going to be able to bait both brawls. I don't think she knows that Alana's in the deck. She's not going to overcommit that much to where she has no board controls left. Right. Jetlaw taking his time, thinking about all of his options here. And unfortunately, his elementals are not, are still not getting value right now since mm -hmm. it's whittling away the armor. Baron Geddon, also an elemental. Um, and get, just gets big game hunter. Right, yeah. And not actually healing her for anything, though. Well, I mean, when I say her, I mean Jaina. Jaina, Jaina yeah. not actually getting any healing yet. Right. I think you just keep armoring up. It doesn't really matter. Um, like, at least you don't need to play yet. I think you value four armor over Elise on the board. And, like, four armor is just going to win you this matchup eventually. So that's, like, your biggest play. Right. Um, but there's still some threats in hand for, for Jet Law here. The, the, the fatigue's ticking, but there are some, some decent threats in hand. And... Water Elementals can start to, to build up, and if she loses some brawls here and doesn't really get the brawls that she wants, it could flip on its head. This matchup's definitely not over. It's just tricky. You know, this fatigue-style this fatigue style matchup is, is tough. All right. I like this play because he, he's going to try and force the brawl now. And she might not even bite. Right. Because um, she knows exactly how much damage she can take. Elise mitigates fatigue if she wants it to, and she can just keep arming up. I mean, you kill one of them, you take seven damage. You have you have seventy health. I mean, that's you take only that ten you're, turns in a row. Yeah, really. you're only taking three damage overall because of your tank up. But I mean, decides to go with the have, brawl. You have the second brawl and the reckless flurry. Right. So I don't think you're in. You're you're out of it yet here. And loses the brawl, but now you get to play on Goro Pack, and you have a handful of other things to do. Um, <laughs> wait, no. So Pyros is insane. It's a value generator. And Cornered right. Sentry is also insane. And wait, did she get Elise? Oh, no, she had that no, Elise. Okay. She had Elise. Okay. Um, well, well, Cornered Sentry is insane for the second brawl. That's true. I don't, I don't think this is going to get brawled either. Um, no, I don't think so. Lull Dinomancy Hemet. not exactly going to be a card that gets picked <laughs> played here, I don't think. Right. Lol, Hemet. But Hemet, <laughs> Pyros. Go, Hemet, go, Hemet, go. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of Hemet value there. No. Um, destroying a grand total of zero cards. And this, now we're at five damage. No water elemental on board to generate that health back. No, Jetlaw can ping off. Uh, the Raven Familiar, but that Water Elemental cannot attack this turn. No, no, it cannot. Water Elementals don't have charge. Could you imagine? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but now you can even, even the Reckless Flurry, like, mm -hmm. you don't need all that armor anymore. You're, right. you're ahead in health, but 
I think you still want to brawl. Um, and she still has at least to stop the fatigue. Yeah. Even cornered sentry is insane right now. Right. It, it adds three minions to the brawl pool. So the uh, really you just you only don't want the water element to winning, right? Right. Uh, so it's like a one and whatever. I don't even know how many minions are going to be on board at the time. Mm -hmm. But I don't even think you do it yet. You still don't do it yet. Contemplating playing the Elise goes with the Adept. Stealth is, is fairly Stealth good. Is nice. It can't be targeted for that turn, which is nice. Six damage. I mean, it's just adding up at this yeah. point. Yeah, it's not looking Edelweiss good for Jetlaw. Edelweiss can just stop Jetlaw. hers whenever she wants. Yeah. And Jetlaw does not have that ability. Wow, a lot of things were played very well in this matchup by Absolutely. both players. Honestly, <laughs> this is a tough one. <laughs> I mean, I guess you have to just kind of go face in with that yeah. at least and ping. Um, you could trade into the 6 2. You have two water elementals, water elementals on board now. You're starting to get a little bulkier, um, but eventually right. you're taking five this turn. I think it, I think it's about time for Edelweiss to play at least. Play at least, but also, I don't know. I don't know yet. But yeah, I think it's time. I think you're starting to get a little bulky into the fatigue game. Mm -hmm. Deal five. He takes seven. So he's taking 12, will be at 10. Yeah, that is your 10 HP. I think that you like half to Alana or, you know, Meteor Ping, which is actually fine. Um, right. So he'll be regaining six health here. Be at 16, he takes eight. So he'll be at eight. So he basically has two turns. <laughs> yep. I think now. Quarter century brawl. Uh, you, I don't think Blood Bloom's getting any value anytime soon. Probably. Choose not. not to quarter century first. Uh, I don't know if. She sees it. I think she sees it. Um. I guess if you're you're afraid that if a one one wins, he'll just ping it, right? Right. But again, he won't that be able to attack for a turn. Yeah. 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 Water Elemental wins anyway. Doesn't really do too much. Um, Down the eight Still has health. the Reckless Flurry. Like, this is just going to get Reckless Flurry. Right. Yeah, and, you know, I think Reckless Flurry comes out here almost every time. Right. Uh, yeah. She doesn't have to play anything. No, she does not have to play anything, and... Jetlaw and knows that and concedes, right. and Edelweiss taking game two. I don't know if it's favorable or unfavorable or what that matchup's even supposed to be anymore, but that it was, was that it was, was not. <laughs> it was long too. Jeez, Ooh. resident sleeper <laughs> match of the day. <laughs> well, so so the it's over. Match is over. Match is all over. Right, all right, all right. Just Ooh. so you know. Uh, Jeez. So Edelweiss will be on her priest next. I love this deck. I love it too. It's really cool. <laughs> uh, I think this priest did not get a lot of love uh, in this tournament. I think it's great against Warlock. It's insane against Warlock. Jello doesn't even have Warlock, so that's a right. little like not even that good. Uh, it's but it's got w double Wild Pyromancer. Mm -hmm. So that Paladin is mm, not looking so it, hot. It, it takes it 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 does a lot to beat Paladin. Right. And the Shaman, who knows, right? So and I think it also, it, it has a tough time against the Mage if the Mage is able to get up on the um, Artificer plan and get a right. lot of armor. But other than that, it kind of can, can beat the Mage, too, because it has... It does carry two Mind Blasts. Uh, well, the whole point is that you carry two Mind Blasts and you Shadow Vision's the Mind Blast. Right. And you're just pinging with Anduin and Mind Blasting and everyone's getting hit in the face. And no one's having a good time except for you, who's hitting everyone in the face. <laughs> uh, she's still running the mind control version. She still has a mind control in there. I think that's, like, just... She targeted Warlock with this, and she's right. very, very happy about this <laughs> hand because she's going to draw a million cards as long as she yes, does this she the right is. way. And I think she knows how to draw it the right, do this the right way. Absolutely. Um, that's almost exactly what she wanted to see. A million cards will be drawn. Um, <laughs> this is the opposite of last game. We didn't want to draw cards last game. No. This game, we want to draw all the. We cards. want to draw all of the cards as fast as possible. And so Jet Ball is taking the longest sip of Powerade <laughs> <laughs> that anyone has ever seen. <laughs> 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 so.
So Jetlaw is playing his even shaman. Uh, we saw this a little bit yesterday. Ha had a little bit of trouble, but still managed to get him here. So mm -hmm. we'll see I think how even it goes. shaman. It's uh, it's interesting. So now, at, with this play. Oh boy. Wow. She's gonna draw even more cards with that totem on the <laughs> yeah <laughs> on yeah. The board. So she'll draw even more cards. Um, all the cards. She's drawing all the cards. <laughs> this game. Uh, there's not much you can do about it at this point. Um, Unfortunately for Jetlo. Yeah. So Jetlo has um, options. So I mean, he can establish a board, right? Yeah. So I don't even think you trade, like, no. if you're Jetlo here, if you don't trade into this, it's because. You mean he takes damage and heals, he draws a card. Um. He can hero power or he can use the dire wolf or the flame tongue. Decides to go with the scale hide, looks like. I think scale hide does the same thing. It's it sets up to kill the cleric next turn. Right, with the flame tongue totem. But now she draws a card. Yes, she does. I don't think I, I'm, I'm interested to see his face because I don't think he maybe knew that was going to happen. And Edelweiss is very happy to see it happen. She will take all the cards she can get all day. Yep, and... She could she could clear. She, she could just clear she this. She can clear. She could just trade. Um, well, no, she has to, she has to trade second. Because uh, she will coin, and then she will power shield. Right. Edelweiss taking her time, making sure that she has the correct sequencing here. Yeah, the, the tough part about this matchup is, is the sequencing, sequencing sometimes. And this uh, this Pyromancer is going to die, which is probably not great. All right. I'm not sure if she's as in love with this play as she was when she first made it. All right. Um, Decides to kill off the cleric. Um Clear the board and keep the Pyromancer. Yeah, she's valuing um, just being in charge of the board more than drawing cards now, because she she could have just kept going right. forever and drawn cards until there was no cards left and everybody died. Yeah. And, but she <laughs> she's chosen to uh, just control the board, you know. And it's it, yeah. At its core, it's a combo deck, but when you're playing against aggro, the odds are is you're you're just a control deck. You're just gonna outlast them. And right. She knows that Jet Laws. Uh, deck depends on him having the board. So she wants to keep it as clean as possible. I mean, shield right now is not bad at all. Nope. She could just clear the board again if she wanted to. Uh, like I said, you're not really bursting anyone. You could just mind blast. Uh, you're not winning that way. So yeah, I think she, she sees the right. same line I do. Um, people, people, I, I think they don't like this deck sometimes because they get so caught up in like, oh, Pulling I need, I need the these combo. mind blasts. I need the, it's a combo deck. It's a control deck as well. Like, a lot of your a lot of your things just come from that, and you know next turn she could the corpse taker is going to come down, but she could just s master spell it. But right. Merc Spark Eel changes everything because you know hero power Merc Spark Eel. Next thing you know, but you know I think it's a little too slow. He doesn't have control of the board yet, and she wanted to get a lot of value out of that, and now it's gone. But Scale Worm. Scale Worm is a nice card. Right off the card. top is a nice card. I think Scale Worm is like the unappreciated MVP of this deck mm -hmm. because it allows you to actually. Uh, pressure out decks sometimes that normally you wouldn't be able to. Right. Defender of Argus trading off the Scale Worm. Um, otherwise, doesn't like to see a lot of this, but also isn't under any intense pressure. Could just clear the board again with Dustbreaker yeah. if she wanted to. Um, Looks like she's going to go with the Mass Dispel instead. Um, just going to save that Duskbreaker for and, later. And cycle some more cards, which is always right. respectable. I mean, if you see Saren, I come down here, it ends up being a pretty good play. Right. Um, Corpse Taker, less of a good play. Uh, I mean, Corpse Taker, if you see Tor Corpse Taker come down, it's, it's you would have rather maybe save the Master Spell. But it also, it doesn't have that Wind Fury. It just has Divine Shield. Because he drew out here. That's true. Oh, Divine Shield and Lifesteal. But... There's one, and the dust. The second dustbreaker is picked up, so that's a tough one, you know. Yeah, for sure. Edelweiss looks very comfortable in this position. Uh, Jetlaw, I believe that's a freeze frame, uh, but he looks a little worried. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever he was when this happened, it wasn't in a good spot. Uh, again, coming down here, doesn't necessarily pressure anything too bad. You could just scale worm it down if you really wanted to. 
Uh, but I think you, you take the opportunity to get the Skulking Geist out. You've already used all of your one cost spells. Um, spells. Right. I don't know exactly know what you burn from his deck, but I think you just established. I don't think you burn anything. Well, you it's not burn it's an even shaman. It's an even shaman. <laughs> it's an even shaman. Turns out, uh, yep, one so is not an even number. That's true. It's <laughs> good. Glad I knew that. The four six is a is a decent body too, um, just to get it out there. It doesn't trade. It doesn't trade as well with uh, Grand Greymane, but. It can trade with some of these totems for sure. I think Gen might trade down, uh, trade into the. Um, yep, you trade the Gen and then you heal up. Right. And you know, I think Edelweiss kind of knew that was going to happen. Um, yeah, you see her smiling and nodding. I, I, it looks like well, she almost planned that. Uh, well, she did because combo deal trade. That's true. <laughs> so she actually did plan it. <laughs> um, doesn't she love Argent Commander. <laughs> wanted to clear the board. Right. Um, but I think we'll take it anyway. Now this changes everything because she <laughs> can just do this and she can mind blast and then she can dustbreaker, or she could just nah she could dustbreaker here right? Dustbreaker yeah, she better. can dustbreaker. Uh, um, she could just clear this way. Oh yeah, she could clear this well. way, but it's not a full clear anymore right. um, because the four one is still up. Uh, I like this a lot. Dustbreaker is very valuable in the matchup, and you don't want to use it if you could clear most of the board. Right. Uh, like you said, uh, well, like we see. Double Serenite, like double Serenite's in hand. Uh, so yeah, she also doesn't want to get rid of uh, that Primordial Drake just yet because it's her only activator for Dustbreaker. Choosing not to play double Serenite in like before the Mountain Giant could have gotten. Uh, well, you know, doesn't matter because that's, that's death off the top, and sometimes that is some pro bad. RNG. I <laughs> always just felt bad when that came off the top because, like, what are you gonna do? But yeah, sometimes really. you just have it. There's here's the Ravisaur run, the tech card, the little tech card that could, you know. Um, we saw it, we saw that card get a lot of value yeah. yesterday. Yeah, the tech card that could honestly mm -hmm. Ravisaur run, kind of getting work done. Yep. So Jello's got some options. Decides to go with the flame claws. The attack uh, might come back to bite him here, just because Primordial Drake is gonna clean this board up very nicely. Right. She might not want to use the Primordial Drake because, like I said, it's an activator for the Dustbreaker. Yeah. It's her she only could Dustbreaker activator. first, uh, and then Primordial Drake second. Uh, could have even played the Scale Worm if she wanted to, just to establish that board presence, you know? Right. Hagatha is Hagatha probably how this game hand. switches up. It's probably if how Jetlaw gets back into this game. And He's going to do it. This is how it's going to happen. Seen, the fact that we've seen both Mind Blast right. sort of starts to lean towards, like, you know, how do we, how do we kill him now? That's true. This is a little rough too because now. But how does he kill her, right? Right. So how does he kill her? He could get um, some interesting spells mm -hmm. off of Hagatha. Um, the one problem I do foresee also is he can now taunt up with those Serenites, and since she's used the Dustbreaker, she doesn't have an easy way to fully clear them. She does have Psychic Screen. She does have Psychic Screen <laughs> now, though. Uh, you know, Primal Talisman. I don't even know what that does. It's not very I've good. never seen that card <laughs> played before. So, I mean, that's that's the problem with Hagatha, right? Right. You're like, oh, he's going to get 30 points of burn from Hagatha. He's going to get six Lava Blasts. And, uh, and then he gets stuff like this. Primal I th Talisman. Is that isn't that the one that, like, gives you all of the totems, all of the basic totems? Feral Spirit's fairly good here, though. Feral Spirit's is good. He can build a wall and make her pay for it. She's gonna pay With too much for the it. psychic screen. Yeah, I mean she'll pay the psychic screen and then uh, tear it down. Besides, Jetlo decides he doesn't want to overextend too much into um, psychic screen. I don't even think he's psychic screen is bored yet. No, um, I would. I, I agree. Do you actually? Because I don't like anything else. Uh, she doesn't like Psychic Scream either. You can tell she doesn't. She's right. not in love with it. She wants to bait out a little more. You can take eight. You're not at the end of the world if you take eight. You're a priest. You can heal up. You can Scale Worm one down. You can take four. Um, I think that's not bad. But now you see her going back and forth. Now fatigue kind of matters. That's true. Because this might go into, into fatigue, but I don't think it will because you know you have, you have Anduin just pinging away eventually. Uh, I think that's what she's looking for when she's scrolling over a deck. She wants to find that Anduin. Right. Uh, very big key player in the matchup. 
Yeah, she also has another Psychic Scream in the deck still. Mm -hmm. um, this Psychic Scream was off of Shadow Visions. We'll show two more in the deck then. Yes. Yes. She can She's. She has two psychic streams. In yeah, you start. run two psychic streams in this. I, I believe, right? Yep. You run double psychic stream in this okay. deck just because it's it's very strong. Right. Uh, Title surge is not a bad spell to pick up, honestly. No, it's um, not. It's healing. Yeah. Jetlaw deciding whether he wants to go a little bit wider. An ancestral spirit is I means cool. It's like a pretty solid value generator. It's the problem is if you bust something like this, you're eventually just going to get psychic streamed. Right. And you don't really want to hyper overextend into it. Yeah, and Jetlon knows that she has both psychic screams still in her still in her deck. So uh, she has drawn a lot of cards, so he can expect that she has one in her hand. And she'll play the one off the top, thinking, making him think, you know, maybe there's not one in hand. Maybe right. This is my chance to go yeah, wide, yeah, exactly. and then not give him the information that she picked a. a third Psychic Scream off mm -hmm. of Shadow, Shadow Visions. Visions. Now thinking, do I just want to ooze? Or do I want to heal? And she, she opts for the heal. Uh, very respectable as well. All right, I like that because it doesn't give him anything if she deci if he decides to go wide and mm -hmm. she uh, Psychic Screams. So, we'll see what Jet Law decides to do here. Um... Avalanche, that card's that card's bad. It's just bad. <laughs> it is just more bad. freeze shaman. Yeah. Freeze shaman is not a thing. They yeah, really no, want it to be a thing. It's just bad. <laughs> and feral spirits will give you. Oh, your that's what it does. Ah, oh, we oh. figured it out. <laughs> oh, okay, I got it now. Unfortunately, that's not going to help right now. Um, no, because she can just get another Psychic Scream from here. Yeah, she's going to do is. that. Uh, she's not winning in fatigue, but she really needs to find this Anduin. Right. Like, this this Anduin is taking his good old time, and uh, she's yes, probably not is. enjoying it too much. Uh, he's almost out of minions to play. Um, yeah. So and that's not good. That That isn't good because Hagatha only gives you spells when you play minions. <laughs> uh, it turns out he's just playing Free Shaman now. Yep, free shaman, new meta. <laughs> yep, he's just playing free shaman. Uh, I'm playing Twilight Drake here. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm, if I'm Edelweiss. But almost like, how do you chip away? Like you don't even have the cannon fodder anymore. You have seven cards left in your deck. You can only really get so many pings off. I mean, eventually you'll probably win. But right, I'd like to see her either mind control. Um, the Alec here once it comes out, mm -hmm. and then that can definitely help. Yep. Volcano. I mean, volcano is nice, but it's not doing what you. It's just helping. Yeah, her, it really. also overloads you, and it. Yeah, it, it's just keeping everything off the board. When whereas he wants the board. Mm -hmm. Interesting trade here. Uh, it sets up for the title surge, which is kind of nice. Right, which will heal him for four. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you Psychic Scream yet. You just you bait it out. You can take this damage, I think. She can ooze to get rid of the Stormforge Axe here. Mm -hmm. um, set up a taunt. Yep. And now maybe Volcano, you would maybe think, volcano. Uh, could come down. Avalanche. <laughs> Avalanche would be Woo! interesting. Do it. I'd love to see it played. I've never seen it played. Yay. Freeze a minion and deal three damage to adjacent ones. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> no, she can just let this go. Frost shot. She can just let this uh, Primal Fun Totem develop, 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 and then Psychic Scream a board of one one. That's true. However, that does give him more spells once they show up. Cause they're no, minion. it's not summon, it's play. Yeah, if she Psychic Screams them. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. yes, you're right. It gives him a, another full of spells. Yes, that is the only problem with that. It's um, like you want to draw cards to find Anduin, but you don't want to fatigue Zootoon, so it's like you just hope he's on the top. Because she could draw cards with Cleric, but... She could also... She could have also drawn with... Uh, oh, no, she picked up the Harrison this turn. 
I like that she's saving the mind control most likely for the Alec here. Yeah, she knows it's in the deck. Um, she or probably or knows it's, it's like in his hand because he hasn't touched that card. Yeah, yeah, that's fair too. So she is very being very patient here. Um, Jet Law just going to clean up this ooze. And Farsight's good. Farsight's, right. a, Farsight's a very good pickup. I mean, that's a one mana Saturday Night Chain <laughs> Gang. That's pretty good. You just play Twilight Trade again. Like, you know. Uh, yeah, she can... Or you can Cleric, and then now you heal. You try and cycle a little bit. You really did not want Ando in bottom five at this point. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, right. It's an unfortunate draw. I mean, there, there he is. is. So it's now go time, basically. Absolutely. Uh, we're pinging, we're pinging, we're pinging, we're clearing boards, we're pinging, we're mind controlling, we're doing all of the things we can do. Unfortunately, Edelweiss does not have a lot of... Uh, her, her hand is really heavy, so she can't ping a ton. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's really not yeah. as much cannon fodder left. Discover a battle cry menu can be very powerful. You can see it. Edelweiss looks a little stressed. But those, <laughs> those are, are not, not exactly the best powerful, ones. And you're definitely not picking Tangle for Mystic because the last thing you want to do is add a two cost card to a Shattery Branduin's hand. Yeah. I suspect he'll probably take the Merc Spark Eel um, for the added damage. Giving the, well, actually, it doesn't work anymore. Oh, that's right. She has shuffled. Um, e e uh, odd, odd cost cards, cards into his deck, so it does not oh work anymore. Oh my gosh. And now we see it can get there a little bit. We start to see the plan come together um, with Alex Straza. Right. There's no hex yet. Nothing like that. And I think you're pinging face. I believe so as well. Yep. She's only got, uh, he's only got five damage on board at the moment. Um, so that eats up the armor. Picks up Dire Wolf. Wow, oh. Blazing Invocation again. That's our noise pickup. <laughs> and this one might be better. Maybe. <laughs> well, Hot Spring Guardian uh, will heal. And taunt. And taunt, which is. Not. Taunt's not, doesn't matter, but heal's good. Right. Yeah, he's already got taunts, so. We're not as concerned about the taunts. And Jetlaw doing a really good job not playing too not far over extending. I think even this you might just have to psychic Six scream extreme. and then Do you have one more in the deck still? Mm, you might. Possibly. And now because I think both of them extreme. were off of the Yeah, two of them were off of you're definitely going to Psychic Stream here, I believe. Divine him, very nice. Um, otherwise, finding something very funny. Uh, right. Not sure what it is. <laughs> something was very funny about that play. She seems okay yeah, with, she whatever, seems is with whatever is happening. Yeah, she seems happy with happening. I so. trust her judgment. I don't know. <laughs> so, another Tidal Surge, which will give... Jet Law, another four health. Oh, and playing the healing before the Alexstrasza comes down, though. Ooh. Um, not exact. You want to save all that for after. Right. Is he going to play all of it? What is... I don't know. But, oh, Edelweiss knowing. It, like, Edelweiss oh, sees man. it. She is like, this is all mine. You just played all of the healing. <laughs> Otherwise, kind of understanding in a way that, you know, maybe that's not exactly what you wanted to do. Right. Hex off the top, though. Hex off the top is pretty nice. Unfortunately, that means he can't play Alec here, so he won't be getting another spell this turn. Yeah. Decides to pass, and Edelweiss is in fatigue now. Yeah, this is getting a little spicy here, uh, but no more healing left, which is huge. Um, That's true. And well, no well, more she, healing left she, for, for him. That's what I'm saying. She also has divine him in her hand. Yeah. Which is incredibly helpful. Stormforge axe is nice. He could he could push a lot of damage this turn, but right. you know, I think at some point 
like this Alec here is getting mind controlled and six is getting pushed to face. Earthshock. Yeah, Earthshock getting a lot of value here. Um, just kills it, which is crazy. Um, maybe Alec here just doesn't get played because of the mind control. Right. Um, he knows she has it in hand yep. uh, at this point. But if if he was going to play at any time, it would likely be with that taunt up. However, Edelweiss decides to mind control the taunt uh, instead. And now we might see the Alec here come down. Uh, Serenite Chain another Gang Serenite is Chain good. Gang. Yeah, that is a good too. Uh, It just seems like she's not going to stay alive long enough to be able to push these pings. Um, but she might get there. It's going to be really close. It's gonna be, yeah, it's going to be very close. Otherwise, you know, with like just a, an Anduin like a turn earlier, just would be able to kind of run the show here. But An Ancestral Ooh. Spirit is a very good top deck now too. Uh, you know, there's no more um, Psychic Screams. Right. And and unfortunately, if Jetlaw keeps that uh, Stormforge Axe around, that Harrison is unplayable. Yeah, it is. Um, three damage here. So we're getting up to that fatigue type area. Um, you got a pink face still. You can you can heal up with divine him. Pink face right. again. He will be at seven. No more mind blast. Um, this is gonna be close. It's gonna be so <laughs> close. Um, I'm sure there's like a clear winner if someone's watching at home and doing all the math, but. With the Vicious Scale Hide, though, wait, that oh changes boy. a lot, though. That's a big pickup because Vicious Scale Hide, just even that one point of health is so big. Right. Um, and I think you just have to play it and stay alive. Um, the path dimly lit. You can see Edelweiss a little frustrated with seeing that. You could even... Cryostasis it. He could. Um, I don't know if he wants that much healing from it, but he could get it if he wanted it. He could hit with it now, cryostasis it. Um, but it won't be available to attack next turn. That's true. And Edelweiss he, can get rid of it with yeah, if, the if she doesn't, Drake. If he doesn't cryostasis it, he can get rid of it. She can get rid of it. She can clear the board, actually. Ooh, and here comes Alec here. And you can see Edelweiss is slightly frustrated by that. Um, yeah, I think that's the match here. I think the Even Shaman is actually going to take this. Can see coming out from Edelweiss trying to speed it up a little bit. I don't know. Right. Um, we're not. None of these matchups have gone fast. They've all been <laughs> no, very long matchups, <laughs> but, you know. What are you going to do? Right? Control, and control, control. And the shaman takes the win. The shaman takes the win, and now, you know, maybe Paladin or Mage, you know, this priest, like I said, can 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 sometimes not get there versus the Mage. Right. And the Paladin, it's kind of the same thing as the shaman. Like, eventually the reload might just get there. Um, That's you true. You can only shut it out for so long. And I, like I said, once Hagatha came out, like, she didn't really have the win condition anymore. Like, she used both of her mind, mind blasts. blasts. And it became, it went from a aggro versus control lineup to a value versus control lineup. And right. he just kept generating value. And the more you psychic screamed, like you said, the more minions got created. And it was mm -hmm. just, you know, That's got there. That was all she wrote? Mm -hmm. That was game three. <laughs> <laughs> so oh it is two to one. Boy, it's only game three. <laughs> so we'll be going into game four momentarily. Um, with um, Jetlaw has his mage and paladin left. Yep, and I think we're queuing up. Yes, or Edelweiss it is sounds queuing like up, it. waiting for Jetlaw to select his decks for sure. Yes, and Edelweiss will still be on the priest. Oh man, I talked up. I talked up this priest a lot. I hope you it did. gets the win here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're still going. We're still going. Resident sleeper match <laughs> of the day. <laughs> Well, it's all of Edelweiss's matches have been long. That's true. She so is, she has run the longest matches uh, of the entire tournament. She brought the full control lineup, mm. as she usually does. I mean, I like this lineup. I, li I like the control it, so. lineup, personally. All right, so Jetlaw is going to bring out his mage. 
Yeah, I think in this matchup you just want to find your shadow visions and kind of just hope you get there from that from that route of things. Right. So I would suspect that since he's a control mage, she'll likely toss her whole hand. If if he was a tempo mage, I'd keep the dust breaker. Yep. But if he was a tempo mage, it's a whole different thing. It's oh, hard absolutely. to be tempo mage with this deck. Uh, Gets the dust breaker back anyway. Much. You want cleric. You want to draw through before you want you want to draw. You don't want this to go to fatigue. If it goes to fatigue, you've already lost. So you want to draw your whole deck basically right. as quickly as possible because now you're a combo deck. And you don't want Anduin to be bottom five again. Yeah, hopefully Because that's not. kind of what <laughs> cost you last game, if you think about it. Yes. So, Edelweiss deciding not to play the Cleric. You got to save it, I think, in this matchup. Right, um, for Wild Pyro Yeah, combos. you got to save it for some real shenanigans in this matchup. There's the Pyro. Unfortunately, Edelweiss does not have any spells in her hand to uh, force the Pyro to hit the Cleric, so I suspect she'll drop the Twilight Drake next turn. I mean, how much value is Dustbreaker ever getting in this matchup? That's true. Um, if she uses the Twilight Drake here, then Dustbreaker doesn't have an activator. Yeah, I mean, it's not doing a lot in the matchup anyway. Um, right, so I think Dustbreaker is fine. Yeah. And you like to see those shadow visions coming out now. You can basically just you 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 know you kind of want to find the mind blast. Right. Uh, so that's fine for you. Hey, and you get in some chip damage here, which is always very nice. Uh, and you know, like I said, sometimes this can just this matchup can just get kind of rushy pretty quick. Um, already right. gonna force out like a dragon's fury or something like that, just because you don't want to take you don't want to take eight next turn. Jetlo playing the Dragon's Fury to clear. <laughs> There's the first Mind Blast. I think Skulking Dice doing a little bit more harm than good for Edelweiss here. Um, Powered Shield's kind of gone. Right. Um, However, it does thin her deck anyway. Yes, it does thin her deck to get to get to Anduin, which is the big pickup in this matchup. Right. You just Now she wants to hope she doesn't draw that second Mind Blast next card. Right. She really wants to use the Shadow Blast. I'd like to see her use the Shadow Vision. Shadow Blast? I don't know what that is. Shadow Visions uh, in this next turn mm -hmm. so she that she does gets... does not want this to be Counterspell. It's kind of mind uh, like game-breaking if this is Counterspell because Shadow Visions is so important. We know it's right. not, but she doesn't know it's not. And now the second Shadow Visions comes up and now it doesn't, almost doesn't matter, right? Right. Um... So she's likely going to test. Well, now we know it's Mira Entity, so that's mm -hmm. not a problem yeah. anymore. I mean, I like just Shadow Visionings here. Kill that Absolutely. Shadow Visions. Uh, go face, actually. Make him trade. Opting to just say, I'm not going to draw. That's what she's saying. She's saying, I'm not yeah. going to draw it. It's definitely a risk. I mean, Lich King like comes down next turn with no real way to deal with it. It's true. Lich King comes down this turn. That's what I'm saying. He comes down this turn. Like he's just coins. That's what I meant to say. I don't know if I said that. You said next turn. My but bad. That's okay. I meant this turn. Yo, know, Anduin not in hand yet. Now deciding to opt for the Shadow Vision. Yeah, I think you want to take one Mind Blast. Maybe one Divine him. Uh, divine him doing a lot right. this turn. Uh, you can draw a lot of cards this turn. I would like to see her take the Mind Blast first. M make sure she has that combo. Yeah, I mean, it's not too game breaking if you only get 15. Right. Because you can, you only really need two. It's just nice to have four. Right. Um, if you trade in, you can deal three damage. Mm -hmm. Um. Can you deal three damage with all spells? You can play Cleric, Shadow Visions, Divine Him. That's not it. You don't have any one cost spells, so this uh, the Social King's probably not dying this turn, unfortunately, for right. Adelweiss. This is a tough decision. But you draw three cards, and that's pretty important here, too. Right, she needs to get to that end of it. Yep. If she's doing it, she needs to do it soon, though. The rope is ticking. 
She's Oops. not going to do it yet. She's going to hold on and do it next turn. Jetlaw with another turn with that Lich King up, which is very, very nice. Um, no Jaina in hand just yet. Picks up a Stonehill Defender. He has lots of options here. Yeah, he can clear a lot of these things. Uh, most of them involve eight damage hitting the face. Right. Wow, this is quite the long matchup. I am like some caster fatigue going on. There is man. some caster uh, fatigue. <laughs> it's a tough one. There are things happening. I mean, right now it's uh, it's a tough call for for Jet Law. He has he has a lot of ways to clear this, but not a lot of ways to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. I mean, not, not even the right way. Like not a ways to do it like perfectly. And Edelweiss really likes the the fact that she just saw that. Yes. Like a lot. Um. Because she's, she's got a lot of mana next turn, and she's probably seeing, man, I can I can deal with some of these things. I might be able to kill the Slush King soon. Absolutely. If Yeah, if he doesn't deal with this Geist, then that Lich King is going to die. She He does decide to clear it up and drop the Stone Hill. Um, goes for the Apple Bomb, which will give him four more health, I believe, uh, once that's killed off. Swampu's not exactly getting a lot so of value here. So this is the turn we're going to draw some cards. Just probably not as many as we wanted to. Because uh, right. I don't know if you can play the ooze. You can... Uh, actually, you can't really... You can't kill the Lich King either way, so you have to do this play. You're going to Psychic Scream here. Most of Decides the time. To take actually, the you know what? Control. Actually, I like this because you can just mind control it next turn. So this is much better. Drawing three cards... Is very valuable. None of them are Anduin. <laughs> Anduin. Now she has 13 cards left. Um, so hopefully for her sake, she can pick up Anduin pretty soon. But there's Jaina. And Jaina can come down this turn. Yep. That's not what she's going to This is a see. rough spot for Edelweiss. Wow, this is a tough matchup right now. Uh, Absolutely. This, like I said, if if Jetlaw can get going on this Jaina, it's just tough, and it's so tough to see this Anduin not get picked up yet. Right. Um, so I think Jetlaw is worried about dropping Jaina because and letting the Lich King live because he will burn a card. This is true, but you already have all the cards you really need. Right. Uh, but I think we're just gonna see him start to clear the board a little bit. Um. Decides to go with the Meteor and the Artificer to gain six armor. So getting armor and getting the burn, uh, getting the... Ooh, Dustbreaker is very good here. Um, actually, very, very good here. Because now you can... You can clear the board. You're clearing the board... You're healing your face. Jetlaw did pick up Frostmourne. That's what I'm saying. He gets, he gets a lot going on right. from there. So, Jaina just coming down. Right. Not too much to think about. And Edelweiss is looking like she's in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, Edelweiss, Edelweiss not feeling too comfortable here. Um, can draw a bunch of cards again, which is very nice. Uh, definitely want to see that kind of happen. So I think you kind of want to see Cleric. I uh, actually can't draw too many cards because you don't want to burn. You don't want to burn that Mind Blast. To do so, you'd have to use the Mind Blast to do so. You've already seen both Shadow Visions. Right. So this is definitely a tough decision for Edelweiss. Raisa doing that thing where she, or Edelweiss doing that thing where she just makes the series as long as it possibly, possibly can, can be. Um, I mean, it's this so ahead and many the cards, it, it's almost hard not to do. Right. Um, and still... Still no Anduin. Still no Anduin. I'm not even sure how many cards are left in her deck. Not many. 
Still no Anduin. Still no Anduin. Wow. Um, that is rough. Seven cards left in the deck. So these are two matchups in a row where he's been bottom ten. That, that, that is, is never good to see. You don't like indeed. to see it. Jetlaw has a plethora of options here. He can gain life. He can use Frostmourne to take out some of these minions. He can drop Alana if he wants, although he knows that Psychic, Psychic Scream is a very real option for Edelweiss, especially after drawing all those cards. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely at least one Psychic Scream going on in there. Right. The question is, is there two? The question is, if I bait one out now, do I have a problem? I, I just create water elementals from now till forever. Mm -hmm. um, I think Jet Law's in a really good spot. I don't think Edelweiss really likes where she is. I think she needs to really get Anduin. And she Whoa. just stole the Alexstrasza. So that is a concede. And there is no way concedes. that she is winning without that Alex card. Alexstrasza, yeah. And that that just hurts. That just hurts that a was lot. Rough. You know? So Jetlaw coming back. It's 2-2 two, two now. Ooh, I got to kick the seat back, man. It's been, <laughs> it's been a long We're time. We're going to nap. game five. Cougar gaming chair let me sleep. Ooh, <laughs> it's been a long series out here. Absolutely. I think this series has been like an hour and a half, two hours long. Something like that. Um, it's getting it's getting there for sure. It's already there, <laughs> but so it's getting it's there. there. This uh, is going to be a tough one for Jetlaw, though, but with the Paladin. It's the last game. It is the last we game. We know it's the last game. It's been a great series. I don't want to take oh anything away from the players. It's been a great series. Each game has Absolutely. been so close. but So well thought wow, out. Wow, it's been long. Yep. So hey, there he is. <laughs> you can't have him this time, though. Unfortunately. <laughs> there we go. I'll sit up for you, Tyrone. Don't worry about that, buddy. Now he's ignoring me. Yep. Oh, well. <laughs> Vine Cleaver picked up. Does nothing for Acidic Swamp Boost. Uh, Pyromancer's very nice to have in the matchup. Yeah, Call to Arms is a really good uh, card to have early in the game for Jet Law as well. And these um, are the matchups where I don't like mind control. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> it, it's so... It, you're, like, never going to use it. Yeah. And what are you going to use it on? Yeah. And it's it's tough to count on beating a Murloc Paladin. Because right. sometimes they just get there, man. There's not much you can do. It's going to be fast, for sure. She does have the ooze in hand, also, uh, to take care of... Uh, if a true silver shows up mm -hmm. earlier. If not, then she can wait for the Vine Cleaver. I mean, I think you take Divine him here. Uh, Absolutely. You need you need to be able to Pyromancer Heal coin play a spell. Right. Um, it looks like that's what she's going to do. Because next turn, I don't even think you, you do that next turn. You wait one more turn, but War Leader Maybe. makes that a little tricky. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think you need to do it now just to... Deal with some things, right. deal with some items, but you know, call to arms coming out the next turn. He's gonna refill the board. Yeah, you're not loving what you see. Um, oh. You just use coins, so it's not even like you can coin Psychic Stream eventually. The call to arms is just such a good good card. Uh, she's not gonna be happy to see it. Jet Law's probably just gonna play it. Maybe even right. a knife juggler on the on the three one on the Pyromancer. It's just it's just bad for Edelweiss. Because no real proactive plays after that. But she, he's going to choose to hold off on it, uh, force another sort of clear. Um, maybe if he'll be afraid of the four attack, you know, maybe right. force a dust breaker. Jello does, just doesn't want to chance it. Um, yeah, for with sure. Giving that wild pyro another chance to possibly clear his board. Yeah, and with no small spells in hand, she's considering just playing out the Pyromancer now. Right. Uh, but I, I like holding it a little bit, uh, just forcing. Especially since you saw Jet Law take so much time on the last turn, you have to imagine he was contemplating several things and then decided to go with uh, a turn that didn't fill up his mana cost. Mm -hmm. So you can, and there's the there's the knife juggler. One miss, which is very big. Uh, so she could clear the she could clear the war leader. Uh, right. She wanted to see Edelweiss. Really wanted to see, see a smaller spell there. Yeah, like mind blast. Uh, but or Twilight Drake is kind of doing the job a little bit. 
Right. Um, even next turn, if you find a small spell, you're not too upset. Because um, the, the goal here is to survive to Psychic Scream. She doesn't and have that, mu uh, that much longer. She does have Anduin early enough for eight this time as well. So if she can survive that long, she'll likely be in good shape. The question is, can, she can survive? you survive that long? Because you're going to 15. Cleric's good, but is it good enough? I think kind of just saying, hey, I really want to draw right. a spell I can use right now. Divine Hymn would be the best. Uh, you can't actually use it because I'm bad at counting mana when I'm casting. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a tough thing to do. Decides to heal her face, which is perfectly fine. We're going to see the Vine Cleaver come down here, I suspect. Um, but she's not going to have a good way to deal with that. No, I already no, saw the not. ooze come down. She's going to not be happy to see the Vine Cleaver here. She does have Psychic Scream ready for next turn, though. Yes. So if Jetlaw decides to go wide instead, she'll be at a pretty big advantage. Because once Anduin comes down on eight, it's going to be a rough rough go for Jetlaw. Yeah, I just think. because of all the pings that can come down. But I think Vine Cleaver here, you're pushing enough damage to where, you know, it hurts pretty bad. Uh, right. Looks like Jetlaw is deciding to... I think you trade one of them off. Uh, right. I think you have a tough... T I mean, if she might not even need to use Psychic Scream mm -hmm. if she draws the correct sequence of cards. That's um, true. If he leaves the Pyromancer up. Both juggles hitting face. Yeah, that's kind of not what you wanted to see. I think you got to kill the Pyromancer right. here. You might be able to go face with everything else, but... Now, this is nice that, that, that the trades are happening, but, yeah, no, you can go face everything else. I think that's correct. Right. Divine Him Divine now, Him is such a good pickup. But mm, not better than Psychic Scream. Right. <laughs> but then the reload is just so strong, and you're out of Pyromancers. That's, that's very true. Um... Anduin unfortunately does not do anything to do any, anything minion, about one once. <laughs> any minion below five attack. So we'll see Jetlaw reload the board. Argent Squire is even better, a little stickier. Otherwise, kind of knowing she's in a tough spot here. Right. Hidden Wisdom is. <laughs> This is like funny because you know, with an Anduin priest, they want to play more cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's. I don't know. I don't know if it does the board plan that you wanted it to do, and I don't think Noble Sack is any good at all. I think right. Redemption, Redemption is, is probably one of the best. Um, I expect. I ex decides to go with Hidden Wisdom. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting plan. Like, I don't think it's bad. Right. Um, the light protects but I don't think Edelweiss is really liking the spot she's in. She might have to draw the second. Off the top here. Because if you Anduin, you're just dead again. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, not not because you Anduin, you go up to 11, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you're at 1. 1 health in a dream? 1 health in a dream. I think you have to do it, right? Because you go to 11, 6, 7, Anduin? 8, 9, 10. Well, she can gain 6 from Divine Him instead. No, I think it's better to Anduin, so next turn you can gain the six and you can right. start pinging. So this is the part where uh, you just hope. <laughs> yeah, you can't give up. You got to keep playing. Uh, I mean, she could concede if she wanted to, uh, you know, to each his own, but I think... I think it would be... Shadow Reaper Anduin and make him have it. Make him draw that one damage. I hope we're right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Right? Yeah. I think so. There's a lot of minions in this deck that buff a lot of things. That, that's, That'll do it. That's <laughs> one of the minions that buffs a couple things. Yeah, unfortunately for Edelweiss. And you see yep. the relief on Jetlow's face. He's just double checking to make sure everything is good to go. And Edelweiss is just like, you Edelweiss know what? Is Whatever at this <laughs> point. Um... It happens. 
Very well played by Jet Law to stay alive in this series. Very Absolutely. well played by Edelweiss to put herself in the position to get to, the, to be in this game five in the first place. Yes, and very she... Very well played to both players.